So hi Robbie, uh, it's nice to have you here as a brand ambassador for the Liverpool. So you had quite an impressive career, more than 180 goals for Liverpool. You were even nicknamed God by the Anfield crowd. And then you proceeded to being a coach and now you're a brand ambassador. How do you like this new experience? You know what, it's superb. I get to travel the world and I meet so many fabulous people, so many great supporters of Liverpool. So uh, it's probably perfect for me at the minute until I get to my coaching and managing and that's certainly what I want to go down. So today you spoke to InstaForex partners, you were answering their questions, uh, so how important is it for you now uh, to share your ideas, to share your experience from people who might learn something from you? Yeah, look, I'll be totally honest, I mean, it's not massively important, I think, um, I mean, people are very, very interested in, uh, I mean, if I can help in any way in terms of what I've achieved and, uh, you know, speaking about my experience in the past and I mean I'm all for that you know it's not massively important if I'm being honest but lots of people are you know very interested about you know my life story my my career in terms of football so uh, uh, if I can help in any way then uh, you know I'm happy with that. And you're very very down to earth so has fame ever affected you in all these years? You know no no it hasn't I think uh, I think it's it's obviously the breeding I've had from my family I think I'm a very level-headed lad uh, I think I've got respect for you know for every person uh, you know who treats me with respect. So um, I think that's what it's all about. I think you know you, you have a good career, and um, I think it's always important to you know treat people the same you know the same way that you want to be treated, and and, and that's what I do. You know, it's, there's no no airs or graces with me. Uh, you know, and I'm I'm good to everyone who's good to me. Talking about your career, you had a great start in Liverpool, scoring for average about 20 goals per season. And um, what drove you at that moment? Well, look, I'm just a young lad. And I suppose, obviously, when you first come into the team, you probably get by a little bit on luck as well. You need, obviously need a talent. But uh, I think, look, in terms of any business, I think you need a good a good team around you. Uh, look, and I might have been the the forefront of, of you know, the accolades of scoring all the goals, but... You know, certainly the position I played, I think you're only as good as the team that you're playing. Uh, and, you know, I, I thank each and every single player for helping me get to where I am today. So team performance is very important. And um, uh, you had a period in your life when after yet another successful season in the Liverpool in 2001, you had to leave and you come back, came back only in 2006. Um, so how did these events affect you and how important was it to be for such a long time a part of such a famous club and then to leave your home? Yeah, look, I, I mean, I had a great career and I mean, there becomes a time in anyone's career where, you know, sadly you're not longer wanted. So, I mean, that happened to me. Uh, but I always wanted to go back to Liverpool. I went to other clubs uh, and obviously done well. You know, I, I appreciate everywhere I went. But you know, Liverpool's where I'm from. Um, so getting the chance to go there, you know, for me was special. And I probably appreciated everything about the club uh, more the second time round because I'd been other places and I realised how big and how special Liverpool was while I was at these other places. So I certainly, I certainly thrived the uh, the next time I came back. So you had your ups and downs like everybody in any profession. Um, what helps you to get back on track and what helps you today when you have some setbacks? What advice would you give? Look, I think the, uh, the look, no matter if it's sport, business, I mean, everyone always has setbacks. Uh, you know, in, in, in terms of sport, I think it, it's certainly, it helps when you, you get back up. You know, if, if you get beat one game, it helps that you play a game a few, a few weeks or a few days later. You know, and you try and rectify what you've done straight away. So uh, I think that's probably the same in, in business. And it's just having that confidence and, and that belief within yourself to go out there and look, you know, you have had a setback, but you know, setbacks probably make you a better person. You know, I think if you're going through life and everything's rosy, then um, I don't know, it's probably nothing's expected of you uh, and it, it becomes very easy. So if you, if you do have setbacks, I think it, it, it drives you on it makes you it makes you want to bet yourself in terms of being a better person you know being a better you know role model being a better ambassador being a better player so um setbacks can be sound silly but they can be quite good in a way because it helps you drive on and and, and become a better a better person or a better individual um, and today, what do you consider your most um, prominent career achievement and what is your warmest memory regarding football? 
Well, look, I think um, I think as a player, certainly you want to be remembered for winning trophies and uh, you know not what you've got in the bank. I think uh, that there's that there's lots of things that you know. I mean, you can earn money you know any which way you want. Uh, but certainly as a player, you, you're there for you have know, to drive because you want to win things. You want to win things with your team. Uh, and for me, that that's massively important in team game. You know, I always want to be remembered for you know scoring goals from an individual basis, obviously, but certainly from a team team point of view, I want to be remembered for winning trophies with my teammates. And I think that is probably why we go into sport. You know, we love the accolades, we love winning stuff. Uh, and and for me, that that's that's probably what makes being a sportsman all the more special because there's always that carrot at the end. And what inspires you now at this stage of your life? Is it coaching or anything else? Where do you find joy? Yeah, look, I, I, I'm an ambassador now for the club and what I do is I get to travel the world. Uh, and you know, without football, I might never have got to do this. You know, I might never have got to travel the world, you know, meeting uh, like-minded people, uh, meeting fabulous people all over the world, meeting many Liverpool fans. And I love doing what I do. Um, And probably I appreciate it more now than what I did when I was playing because as a player you focus totally on 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 the game and and what you've got to do at that particular time. But certainly when you finish playing and and the world just becomes bigger, you know, it, you just expand there and and you get out there. You're meeting look magnificent people. You know, it's it it is really really special now. And what was the most important lesson from all these years, maybe? Um, Communicating with so many people, maybe something that you remember that you learned. Well, I think the biggest, the biggest thing I've learned is, uh, you know, be. I think it's, be careful. What's the word I'm looking for? Be. Be careful how you treat people on the way up because you might meet them on the way down, and I think that's superb. I love that because um, I think there's there's many many instances or many times where people are maybe a little bit too big for the boots on the way up. Uh, and you know, all of a sudden, you know, they get to the peak, and then they've got to come back down where they're not deemed as good enough. And you're meeting the same people who, uh, who, as you're going down, you know, they're at the same level. So uh, I think it's important to treat everyone with that little bit of respect, whether you, whether the, you know, a person on the streets or whether a, you know, a million dollar, you know, owner of a company. So um, I think it's you treat everyone the same. Thank you so much. It was Robbie Fowler, top five shooter in the history of English Premier League. Thank you so much. Thank you.